I think the markets are getting excited, uh, you know, run, running ahead of the curve in anticipating that the BOJ would sound more accommodated than they have in the past, uh, responding to the needs of the economy. Uh, and that's the signal that the finance minister in Japan has also sent out. Oh, do you think that that would uh, seep in well uh, with supporting the economy where exports are under pressure right now? No, well, as you said, the, the problem is exports have been contracting two months running. And because the export contraction, uh, we at UOB thinks that this year growth is even going to be much more difficult. We have downgraded our Japanese GDP target from 0.9% to just about 0.5%, half a percent. And that's on the view that Japan or Abe-san will not raise the VAT tax, you know, sales tax towards the end of the year. Uh, so, so markets expecting a lot of accommodation from the BOJ, but they're kind of like stuck and box themselves in because there's a limit to how much you know they can ease further. Yeah. I mean, if you look at the ten-year JGBs, uh, yields are comfortably below zero. Right. So, so there's a limit to how much more they can ease. And there's a, there's also a limit, uh, Kunhao, to how much weaker the JPY can get because you're thinking the ten-year, the U.S. ten-year is uh, the yield is is capped. How does that correlate? Precisely. Yeah. Uh, you know, historically, dollar yen is very correlated to ten-year treasury use. Yeah. And, and if you agree with the consensus view that the, you know, the Fed will be patient for the next few months, mm -hmm. at least until the third quarter this year, uh, it's very hard for 10-year Treasury yields to rise back to, let's say, 280, mm -hmm. 290. Mm -hmm. And on that note, you know, it's tough for dollar to go any higher. So, so our view is that dollar will be stuck you know, in range trade, you know, 108, 114, you know, mm -hmm. until something gives on one side. Okay, talking about ranging, uh, CNY, if we could just uh, change gears here, uh, starting to stabilize around 670 or so? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, our technical chart suggests that the next move will be 675 and 677. And, and I suppose I'm stating the very obvious. Uh, on, with each passing day, we don't get a trade deal between US and China. You know, market gets a bit impatient. Mm. And, and what you see is the forward curves have started to pick up a bit, mm. meaning the spread between the 12 month and spot dollar China has started to pick up again and, and that is a sign that market's getting a little bit impatient. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.